public relations context, um, the capacity for employers, employees uh, to choose or to have choice in relation to their terms and conditions of employment is really contingent upon uh, their collective strength to be able to agitate their position. And um, as I've mentioned, um, that we genuinely believe, uh, obviously, um, the workers who come together as a union, workers who come together as the TWU, uh, that um, they should have uh, the choice um, to be able to at least be in the ball, at least be in the ballpark in terms of um, uh, the destiny of their terms and conditions of employment, and they're not there unless they've got that collective strength. Uh, and in relation to TW Super, we say precisely the same thing. Absent uh, that collective approach. Uh, what you have is a, a vacuum into which um, terms and conditions can be imposed upon them, one of which is um, um, the fund to which their superannuation cont contributions are paid into. Um, and so uh, we, we have very much taken the view that given that there's the capacity in the legislation, the superannuation legislation, um, superannuation legislation that I think came into force in around 2004, 2005 under the Howard government. Um, uh, that opportunity there, the choice is satisfied if there's a if there's a vote, valid vote of that collective, um, and that fund uh, is embedded in accordance with that valid vote. Uh, then uh, we very much believe that that is uh, an appropriate um, exercise of choice. When you consider the alternative, which is that. If people don't act collectively in that way, uh, they run the risk of having um, an inferior product imposed upon them. But aren't you alighting a couple of steps with respect? Um, the, the first proposition is whether um, an EBA should um, include a provision requiring a or contributions to be paid into a uh, well, what you describe as a corporate for or for profit fund. And you say that it would be in workers' interest to resist that. That's proposition one. But even if the workers collectively resisted that, it doesn't mean that one has to take the next step of requiring that all contributions be paid into a particular industry fund. Well, uh, as I've said, uh, one of the objectives that uh, exists in the group of workers that is the TWU, in the, in the rules of the TWU, is that there will be established and maintained an industry superannuation fund. Now, for transport workers, that is the TWU super fund. And um, they, uh, um, workers uh, acting consistently with that objective, uh, when they maximise uh, their uh, membership of the TWU super fund. Well, perhaps I come at it a different way. Um, you, you advanced the proposition that in seven.